plastic is cheap, durable, and an integral part of the products we use every day. But that prized durability is creating a pollution crisis for the environment, wildlife, and even our own bodies. Plastic in landfills can take approximately 450 years to decompose, and less than 10% of the plastic we use gets recycled. All that trash is breaking down into smaller and smaller pieces called microplastics, and they're being detected everywhere in our oceans, marine life, food, and in fact, some scientists estimate humans are ingesting up to a credit card's worth of microplastic a year. We need a solution to the plastic pollution crisis. Biotechnology is developing innovative solutions that reduce plastic waste and provide sustainable alternatives to traditional plastic production. First, let's look at one part of the plastic pollution crisis, existing plastic waste already in the environment. In 2016, scientists made an astonishing discovery at a recycling facility in Japan. A naturally occurring bacteria, or microbe, actually developed a taste for plastic, eating its way through plastic bottles. This amazing natural process, however, was slow. So bioengineers began experimenting with these microbes to see if they could accelerate the speed of their plastic consumption. Today, scientists are developing ways to supercharge these microbes to consume plastic over 70 times faster than they do naturally. Scientists are also working on ways to create biodegradable plastics that degrade more quickly. Others are developing bioplastics that use renewable resources like sugarcane, sugar beets, canola, and corn. Some of these resulting bioplastics have the same characteristics of traditional plastics, but are 100% renewable. In some cases, breaking down in a few months, compared to years for conventional plastic. The fight against microplastics is here, and the future of our planet depends on it. But hopefully, innovations in biotech will soon provide us with powerful tools to protect our planet, wildlife, and human health by reducing plastic pollution.